It's not supposed to look like this. Water gushing out of a dam above the Capilano River. We all heard it first and then looked upstream and there was this wall of water coming towards us. Mike Hannafin was lucky. He watched as five people fishing on the edge of the river managed to scramble to safety. It was very obvious at that point that it was not going to be safe for any of those people to be there. The water came rushing down this canyon and it rose so quickly that people down below on the river simply didn't have time to get out of the way. One body was recovered and a search is underway for a possible second victim. Our hearts go out to, to all of the, the friends and, and family. Nick Nuri watched one man desperately clinging to a slippery rock as waters rose around him. Water came up so high that he had to hang on to the rock above him not to be swept away. One wrong step and he would have been gone. Even four kilometers below the dam, the change in the river was dramatic. Metro Vancouver, which operates the facility, says a crew was doing maintenance work on the dam shortly before the incident. When a major failure like this occurs, it uh, generally is a combination of both um, human error and system uh, error or malfunction. At the dam, friends of the missing man gathered as questions remained about the lack of a warning system in one of Vancouver's most popular recreational areas. Ultimately, Metro Vancouver's got a lot of answering to do about what happened. I know they're starting an investigation, but that's really serious. Like to not have a fail safe. The river's flow is back to normal and people are once again fishing with a wary eye upstream. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News. North Vancouver.